Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to customize the email that people get sent from Acuity when they book a session with you. And the reason why you might like to do this is if you're like me and you do online sessions with people and you want to send them details about how to connect to Zoom. I use Zoom for my online meetings. But you know, even if you just have other information that you'd like to give them before the meeting, and it's not all about giving them Zoom details, when you have Acuity and someone books, they automatically get a little generic kind of robot email from your robot, your Acuity robot, that just says, you've booked this session, well done. And um, it's just a bit, well, let's have a look at it. It's a bit robot-y. And there is a way you can make it a lot more personal. So. Um, this is what basically people get. This is the subject line. Oh, I should show you how to find it. So first you log into your Acuity and then you, um, when you first land in, it generally comes to this page, which is the appointments page. So you'll need to come down to business settings and click that and then scroll up a bit and, oh, it's very busy. And then email settings is the one we want. So what happens is with the free version, you get the initial confirmation email as part of the deal and if you pay for acuity which is a great thing to do if you want it to take payments as well and if you want it to send more detailed reminders then you get more options now uh, so this is the subject line and you know you might like to change it but you can see there's a few little pre-filled bits of information here for the first and the last so these little um little why am i calling them little these things with the percentage first and last and the percentage type percentage and the percentage calendar these are all information that's extracted from the acuity robot and pasted in to each email so that they're very customized per cust like for each person who re receives the reminder oh i don't know if i'm making much sense right now i hope so let me know if it's too confusing or if it made sense so New appointment, you might change this, you know, um, with Natasha Berta, right? So that people know what this is all about. So I have a tiny little sniff. And then the appointment type, you might like to leave that. You know, you might like to leave this as the subject line or you might like to, depending on your brand, you might like to make it really fun and punchy. Um, you might like to say, oh, my God, how exciting, or activate your magic or, you know, begin the ritual. It just depends what your offering is, but you can customise that subject line. It doesn't have to say this robot talk here. And the same for down here. Now, certain things I would encourage you to leave. For instance, can we get rid of that? Oh, we can. That's tricky. Um, you can get rid of that. I didn't realize that. I thought that might be because it's the free version. It has to stay, but you can get rid of that. Um, I would leave these three bottom buttons, change or cancel the appointments, really handy. I've had to reschedule um, a bunch and it's really nice when it's easy to find. Um, you don't want to have people trying to dig around or contact you personally. Like the whole point of Acuity is that the robot does a bit of the heavy lifting and makes appointments much easier for you. So you kind of don't want people emailing you about it if they don't have to. Um, and they can add it to their calendar, which is really good because that helps them make it to the appointment if you're concerned that they're going to flake. And, you know, so you can totally change this. You could, what I did was I think I might have said, um, like, hi, and then um, the first name. And then I would have, you know, you can say anything you like here. Um, I'm so excited or whatever it is you'd like to say. And, I mean, one important point is if you've watched my other video about how to create a recurring Zoom meeting, um, I like to have one Zoom room where I have all my freebie chats with people and I created a Zoom room, a recurring meeting, and I called it 15-minute free chats. So anyone who books a 15-minute free chat with me, I use that same Zoom link. So I would explain here, like I use Zoom for online meetings. Now, and then I say, 
if you've booked with me, you will have seen this, you know, um, if you haven't used Zoom before, and then I give an explanation of what Zoom is and I walk them through, I say, I suggest you click the link now and I paste in my URL for the recurring meeting room. And then I say, and if you have used it before, no thing to worry about, I'll see you there. But there might be other things that you would like to say to people. Like you might need to let them know that particular things that they need to wear to the appointment or um, if it's a class, because you can use this for classes as well, they might need to bring certain things or if it's for a healing session, they might need to, you know, drink a certain amount of water before or there just might be things you need to warn people about. You could also send links to like onboarding forms. So if you have a Google form that you use, onboard people you could do that there or you can watch my other video about how to use acuity to create an onboarding form so you can already have all that onboarding information acuity is just so spiffy you can use it for so many things so basically all you do is you just edit this and then you click save template and off you go and a new ish feature that they didn't have before is that you can actually choose the um kind of you know, confirmation email that goes to which particular appointment. So if you have multiple appointment types, and I can't remember, I think this client only has one, but say you had multiple appointment types, you could set up different welcomes for the different appointment types. And similarly, you can go into reminders. Okay, so because it's a free plan, you don't get any reminders. And, but, you know, if you didn't have the free plan, if you had the paid plan, I'd be taking advantage of this and sending people a reminder the day before and a reminder an hour before. Cancellation, you can totally customise this. I don't think I bothered to customise mine. And the same with rescheduling. I don't think I bothered to customise mine because I think this is something that just needs to be quite generic and straightforward. So that's the whole, oh, it's because of the sun behind me. That's the whole lesson for today. Thanks so much. I hope that was helpful. Sorry if my language got a bit weird there. Sometimes I just use the same word for everything and everything's a thingy all of a sudden. Um, have a beautiful day and I hope that helps you with your business and helps make seeing your clients a bit easier. Thanks. Bye.